Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Dorgon 111, and welcome back to Spelunky 2. I was replaying the seed, and my hired hand died, so I could only carry one thing forward. So I chose the shotgun, but it turns out that the shotgun cannot uh, apparently attack, attack the uh, thing on his back. So I know the nature of the developers of this game tend to make it so you can always win without any resources, so can I whip it? Uh, it doesn't seem like I can. And if I try to place a bomb, it just falls off. I wonder if there's some other clever way that I can deal damage to Kingu here. Uh, none of the creatures he summoned seem to be particularly valuable to me. Oh gosh. I'm getting some blood. I know I've defeated him with sticky bombs before. This time, I'm not sure, I didn't go back and look at the previous video for like where and how the paste appeared. Um, when the paste did appear, it was like somewhere over here, but I think I would have seen it in the wall. Is there some creature that can randomly drop paste? Is that what happened to me previously? And is there any chance that there's anything down here? That might help me win this fight? I think probably not. Uh, but I would like to be able to still go after the Tablet of Destiny. I'm aware that there's stuff that comes up from the bottom. Uh, and I just want to see how low I have to get in order to see such things. Okay, there's still fish coming down here. It goes pretty deep, actually. I'm trying to get some of this blood. I haven't been paying attention. Let's see if my Kali Cup is still filling up at this depth of water. There it goes, okay. So yeah, there's little things that come up from the bottom of the ocean, and I'm kind of curious to know if said little things I could, like, hit with a bomb. Oh boy! I presume they'll, like, kill me. Oh, it sticks to them! Uh, oh, oh, it got me. <laughs> okay. And... Alright, that kills me. Okay, well, I learned a few things there. One is shotgun bullets do not damage Kingu, so we need a different way to defeat her. Um, there was something else that I learned that I don't remember right now. And I was trying to decide if it actually makes sense. There's a shopkeeper in uh, the tide pool who I buy a bunch of bombs from. It might make sense for me to rob or kill that shopkeeper so that shopkeepers would start appearing at the beginning of the levels again and then i could just carry excalibur um and then somehow defeat another shopkeeper with bombs in order to get my uh shotgun back for later levels so that might be a strategy i try to employ anyway i'm gonna try playing the seat again okay i'm here i think i do want to try my alternate strategy i am gonna buy out the shop just to clear out the uh riff -raff. But then I'm going to intentionally kill the shopkeeper so that at the end of the next level there will be a shopkeeper. I did not save any of the hired hands. And so instead, I'm just going to get Excalibur on my own. And then on the next level, there's going to be lava at the bottom. So I think that shopkeeper is just going to die and I won't have to worry about him. And then I'm going to try to use some bombs somehow. Oh, that's usually bombs and that was ropes this time. I wonder if that's as a result of killing the shopkeeper or something? Hmm. Or maybe I'm misremembering? I thought that one was bombs. So yeah, different strategy this time around. We'll see how it goes. I think there's one more enemy to kill here? Yeah. Uh, actually, it wasn't you that I was thinking of. It was you that I was thinking of. Okay, you are now dead. So I'm going to set down the sh uh, shotgun. We'll plan to pick one back up in the ice caves or in Neo Babylon. And I don't know that I need money for anything, but I'll grab that. And we're going to carry this forward. Oh, yeah, things are different. Um, I imagine that that will work against you, and it did, so that's good. But he is not usually there. I am still going to use my preferred route through the level, which means I'm going to set this down and this down. I guess uh, I don't really need the torch because I know where I'm going. There is a different enemy set here, but I still have my spiky boots that I can use on you. And 
I guess I'll save you for sacrificing after I've used the Ankh. Oh gosh, you're scary. All right, well, you're dead, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't like the fact that there's a different enemy set now as a result of robbing the shop and killing the shopkeeper, I guess. Or maybe there was something else that I did slightly differently on this run. Oh, and there weren't bombs here. Like, usually some bombs generate right there. Hi, Barsley. So yeah, I changed the generation. That could be bad. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Oh yeah, look at this crazy thing. All right. Um, ideally, I want my cup. It is most of the way full. I was gonna say mostly full of blood before I die. So now is as good as time as I need to die. So let's do one of these. And then I'm going to sacrifice the octopi corpse that is next to the um, altar on the way out. Uh, so gently. I guess I could sacrifice that other corpse too. That one's a little bit dicier to get. Um, is it worth getting? It's not worth getting. Uh, what did I do with Excalibur? Here it is. Okay. So, as usual, we're going to bomb through here. And then, oops, it is possible for me to rescue Damsel Doggy at the end of this. Um, that, that assassin, I would prefer to be somewhere else. Usually he's jumped on the spikes by now. Can I get him to jump on the spikes if I jump right here? Yeah, right here he should jump on the spikes. No, he went on the ceiling. Jump on the spikes. There we go. Okay, great. Um, okay, so I can get the Damsel to the exit and then bring my Excalibur to the exit. And I do want to whip the damsel, because that'll get me up to five hearts, and it just did. And we'll whip the damsel a second time, because we need to start accumulating blood here. Now that we have been reborn once in this run. Okay, and jetpack can get the damsel there. And this time, I'll go in with the weapon that I need to defeat Kingu. Alright, and so I need to kill enemies at the start. This one still scares me, so I still do that. There's one... Oh! Okay, that didn't happen the way I was expecting, but I suppose it's okay. I'll be able to jump on your head in just a moment. Which I think is the safest way, and it's also going to get me some blood. Then I need to get my Excalibur back in hand. There we go. Might as well grab these ropes. Because why not? Alright, but let's start dealing with various enemies. I see, you have an explosive, and maybe you had the pace randomly as a drop? How do I want to kill you from a distance? I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna wait for you to turn around. There we go. Then I can kill this one. Yeah, you're gonna need a bomb, so we're gonna do that. Oh, wait! Okay, I have avoided getting poisoned, that's the important thing. I need a corpse to throw, or a boomerang to throw. Yeah, boomerang's actually pretty good. I can attack you from range. Wake up. He doesn't want to wake up yet. There you go. All right, you're awake. You're out of the box. You're dead. Great. Uh, boomerang could also be a good weapon against you. Uh, we'll set it down here in case we need it for some reason. Damsel Doggy, once again, we do need to whip Damsel Doggy twice. It was very da naughty of Damsel Doggy to be in this hidden secret level. Hard to find. All right, Damsel Doggy's learned his lesson. And now, wait for you to blow your bubbles, and then kill you like that. Okay, so we've collected some blood, we're up to six hearts, and now I can go grab my Excalibur once again. I did not manage to get the paste, unless it fell into the bottom of the ocean, but then I guess it's gone forever, because we've seen what happens at the bottom of the ocean. Okay, and then we need to locate Kingu, who's up here somewhere there. So I'm gonna place a rope, and then I think a second rope is usually a good idea. I should have placed it higher. And then we're going to wail on the button, because Spelunky is a button mashing bank game, apparently. Alright, that was not bad. And we're just going to verify. Gold and Vortex. Okay, so that hasn't changed, despite some of the other terrain generation changing slightly. Okay, so now I'm wielding Excalibur. It can chop enemies to bits, but I don't think those bits contain any blood, because I don't think my blood goes up with that. Uh, there were some chests on the back side 
And since I have some ropes up here and a platform here, I can probably get to them. Uh, there was something... Oh, crap. Ah, oh, darn it. I lost some health there. That was foolish. Um, I think there... Well, again, I don't know if the terrain is slightly changed. There was a crate somewhere on the right-hand side, I think. I don't remember. I think it might have been bombs, and bombs are always good. There's lots of these little clamshell thingies that are holding the rubies on the back side. Yeah, it was right here. Okay. And it is still bombs. Okay, so that hadn't changed. And that was the only crate on the back side, so I'm going to assume that has, that has not changed from prior runs. And then we're going to gently use the jetpack to not take fall damage. There was a big bomb inside this. Wow, okay, and there was a big bomb inside it again. Interesting. Um, inside that once that surprised me. Oh, and there is a dangerous snake who I'm not going to get near. We're just going to go to the exit. Okay, three hearts but a full cup of blood, and so we'll get back up to four hearts shortly. Actually, we'll get back up to four hearts right there from the damsel. Hooray. Okay, so let's try to get some blood. 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 Thanks for the blood. Uh, I'd like some more blood. Thank you. Thanks for the blood. I'm really bad at timing games like this. Is it just not possible to hit him there? Can I hit him in the air? There we go. <laughs> um, for now, we're running with Excalibur. Right, I angered a shopkeeper. Right, 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 right. I angered a shopkeeper, which means there'll be a shopkeeper at the exit, but he'll probably uh, be jumping out of the world, I imagine. Okay, I'm going to use... Tiny amounts of jetpack fuel to get down here somewhat safely. There's the Kali altar and it hasn't blown up yet. Ooh. I can get health from Kali. Let's try to get health from Kali. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Now that we've gotten rid of most of the nearby explosives. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of you two. I'm going to set Excalibur down over here. How much time do I have? I still have a bit of time. And sacrifice this. And are there any other live corpses nearby? Ah, uh, it doesn't look like it. Alright, so we got a little bit of favor from Kali there, maybe. But I think that's as much as we're gonna get. Yeah, and I'm just trying to lure the UFOs to the right so I can swirl around to the left over here. Try to safely get to the exit. There is a shopkeeper still. I presume he is just going to jump into the abyss and our shotgun will be gone. Yes. Alright. These things happen. I still have an Excalibur. There will be, presumably, another shopkeeper unless I get forgiven again. I think there will be another shopkeeper at this level. I don't feel forgiven. Okay. So that's actually a good thing. Um, that might blow up the UFO. It did not. So I'm going to throw another one. And this should get the Lamasu now. No, it didn't get the Lamasu. And it didn't get the UFO either, but I do have an extremely powerful weapon and spike boots. So I think I could probably do that. Yeah. Great. And then this UFO. I'm not super comfortable hitting you with Excalibur, but it does allow me to do that and get some blood. Okay. I see various threats. I'm going to drop Excalibur so that the shooty gun right below me goes off. Excalibur, please don't get crushed. I would really like to continue to own you. <gasps> oh, did it recharge? Alright, that does work. Okay. I can stand here and then go here. Damsel Doggy, you're in a precarious spot, so you just kind of hang tight and we'll see you on another level. Right, 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 right. I forgot about the shot. Okay, just remember the shopkeeper. Let's do that. That did not help. It might have helped a little bit. I probably have a clearer shot at the shopkeeper now. Alright, so we're going to try that again. We've got plenty of bombs. Oh, gosh! Still didn't kill or anger the shopkeeper. Um, Is there another way that I could go at him? 
It's a very thick wall above him. If he were to get angry, he'll probably die to like some traps or different things around here. So let's maybe just anger the shopkeeper. Oh, he took some damage already. Uh, we might be in business. I don't think he's dead, but I don't see where he is and I'm scared to look over there. He might be in this kind of, like, stunned phase where... Let's gently come over. Okay, he's a little lost. I think we can just race him to the exit. Yep! And he actually got hit by the thingy again. Okay, so I managed to get a shotgun using my plan, which was to get angry shopkeepers at the end of the level. So that's pretty great. So let's shoot this guy in the face. I shot him in the back, but it ended up working somehow. And that blew up, so that's great. And you can have some blood in you, so let's try to obtain said blood. That is great. Okay, so now I want to use the shotgun to clear out this level before I go back for the Ushapti. I think is my plan. And this elevator is now on such a long timing pattern that I think I don't mind the elevator going up and down as much. Yeah, because I could just sneak under... Well, it's going to say I could sneak underneath it. I still don't love it. Let's see if this kills it. It did not. Uh, we're just gonna sneak underneath it. Okay. Skeleton's not coming to life, but let's just make sure he never does. And there's- oh boy, I forgot about you though. I was not forgiven yet. Alright, but it sounds like he might have just taken damage. He's not dead. Is he dead yet? He's still not dead. Now he might be dead? I think I heard coins drop. So I think he is dead. Here's some ropes for me. There's already a shotgun at the exit. I think the shopkeeper is dead. We might be able to verify that right here. Yeah, I see a coin. All right, I didn't see his corpse, but that's okay. We do not require a proof of corpse. Oh boy, uh, stay away from spiciness. If I'm careful, I could ride this elevator up, and it's actually possible to be careful by pressing against the right wall. I'll be sure to be kind of like in the center of the thing. Yeah. So I can ride this up to here. And now this is where I go get my Ushabti. Which is right down here. This guy. All right, Chi Lin. This is going to be the run. <laughs> I hope. Alright, so I guess we didn't use that shop, uh, shotgun for very long. So it might not be worth getting the shotgun at all. I might just not need the shotgun for Neo Babylon. So maybe I shouldn't have angered the shopkeeper back in the tide pool. But it seems to have worked out okay. Okay, so. Next level. 6-3. Keelan's gonna like, or Chilin's gonna hatch or whatever. Don't have anything in my hand, so we're gonna be firing fireballs. And I think it was kind of toward the bottom right that I wanted to go, and I think I found a path that was like mostly along the right hand wall or something I ended up using. I had sticky bombs that one time. This time we do not. That's okay. I do see the alien craft over there, but I don't think it can get me. And nothing too scary looking over here. And we just need to walk past the man who tells us to stay out. Uh, I don't like the location of that UFO. So I'm going to try to hit it with Keelan's... Nope. I'm going to try to do this. Oh boy. We did not anger the guard there. No, oh, Keelan! Keelan! Wake up! No! He's dead again. Gosh darn it. I'm having a hard time keeping you alive, buddy. Alright. Well, I do have a jetpack. I want practice killing uh, Tiamat. So we're going to try practicing killing Tiamat. Uh, if I had Chi Lin, I would move him over to the left-hand side. I do not. I think I do want to place a bomb here at the start. 
to make it easier to stand in a place, perhaps. Oh gosh, poison enemies. I really don't like that. So tell me, if I place a bomb, pick it up, and throw it, that was a little bit too long held. That was as well. Oh, I hit you with the bomb. Still need to hold the bomb a little bit longer. There we go, that was a direct hit. That was not long enough. That was not long enough. That was close. I'm glad I have all these bombs. I also don't know if I actually need to kill Tiamat here in order to do the fly up into the air mystery or whatever. But I figure it might be required, and so I better kill Tiamat. That was good. Probably one more bomb might do it, I would guess. Yeah! Alright. I didn't disappoint. I need to find out if jetpack fuel is refilled from standing on bubbles. Uh, why are there so few bubbles? Here comes some more. But it is refilled. I can just tell. So I guess we're going to try to fly up into the ceiling and use our jetpack and then place a rope. I think is the current plan. Oh, my ropes. I forgot about that aspect of the rope. The ropes get eaten and go away. I could put a rope there. Does this replenish my jetpack fuel? Let's find out. I am safe here for the moment. No, it doesn't. Okay, so I'm going to run out of jetpack fuel. So what I need to do is stand on a bubble, then climb over to the rope, and then try to time things to where I can go upward. You know what? That rope, the very top of it is still there. I wonder if I could actually hang on it, and I wonder if there's a place that I could place a rope to get more upward mobility here. Okay, first of all, I need a good bubble. That'll work. Okay. So then I'm going to wait for these Electrospheres to go by. I'm going to try to get a higher rope. Ah, uh, it just burns away so you only get the top bit. Okay. Should I try to fly up as high as possible? Like, I have a feeling I'm just going to be like a one-hit kill kind of thing over here. I also, I want to try to go left or right and see if it's possible to... I could just try throwing a bomb over there, actually. That's interesting. I wonder if I can destroy the things that are firing the, the electric lasers, is what I'm wondering. Oh, it's super dangerous. The timing here is awful. Alright, we're just gonna try it. I can't? Okay. I could stand on that, and I actually bounce on these. Okay, so I'm not dead yet, although then I just took fall damage and died. I'll have to go replay the video there. Um, so it is possible to use ropes to give yourselves temporary climbing locations that will be just above where the lasers are. But obviously, uh, Chi Lin is the desirable uh, way to ascend up through there. And I can't think of any other strategies. I think it's basically either find a way to turn off the lasers by destroying them on the left-hand side and right-hand side of the screen, or use Chi Lin and just dodge the lasers. There's probably a way to do it with jetpack and ropes, but I don't know quite what we're doing. And I presume we just have to go up and up and eventually we'll get to a different exit that gets us into a new level. Um, so, still not having as much success as I would like. It's possible I could use this seed also to just go in guns a blazing into tusks. Possibly after having stolen the Tusk Idol, in case that matters. Um, this is a very good seed for just having lots of resources. If I could just find paste somewhere along the route. So I'm going to continue to play with it, but I think we have uh, enough excitement for today. So I'm going to say that I hope as always that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Spelunky 2, where I'm going to push into getting past 6-4. For now, bye-bye.